So let's get back to reality for a minute. Is a vaccine against religious fundamentalism even possible? So if somebody asked me to design a vaccine for religious fundamentalism or fanaticism, uh, basically what I would do is to try to better understand why people are, are fanatical. Why do they have extreme behavior? Uh, it's, it's pretty clear these days that, that all behavior uh, results from uh, activity of our own brains, uh, and so there, there must be pathways that, that are uh, important uh, in generating this, this kind of, of behavior. So if indeed spirituality is this series of chemical reactions in the brain, and if it can be enhanced by certain types of drug, then naturally it follows that it could be inhibited as well, because for every activator there must be an inhibitor. And so I could easily imagine that under the right circumstances, the right stimuli or the right drugs or the right inhibitors might have some effect on a person's spirituality. At least in the short run, whether or not that would have a long-term effect or people would undergo homeostasis and alter uh, is an open question. We really don't know the answer to that. It would be quite useful to e eliminate some of the fanatical um, religious nuts in the world, and I think that, that um, uh, maybe a vaccine would be the way to do that. Um, it, it's difficult to know how successful it, it would be, but, but it's, it's certainly a, an interesting idea. From the, from the point of view of, of a, a, a medical professional, uh, the question of, of uh, spreading a virus that, that is it has not been approved by regulatory agencies such as the FDA is a major issue.